Hey everybody, the Bang is back. Welcome to part 62 of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yeah, you do that. You go get yourself an Onyx. Yeah, you, you just go and hopefully never come back. Alive. Your family won't miss you. Not even your goldfish. They don't miss anything. They're goldfish. They got no souls. Uh, Graveler, Razor Leaf, Golem, Razor Leaf, or Mist and just get self destructed on. Stay alive. That was a waste of a suicide bombing. Go back to the Taliban and learn some more lessons. Yes, you lost. Still want that Onyx? Okay, I never quite understood this path. It makes no sense. It's actually more tedious than anything else. Like, what's the point of this? Like, couldn't I just cut up a lot of these boards or pegs? Pikachu, gang! Don't tell me you got, like, six Pikachu. That's way too many Pikachus. You seriously got, like, six Pikachus. I should be using cut. Six fucking Pikachus. And they're all the same level, pretty much. Yep, they're all the same, and I'm pretty sure they're all males. So how do they breed and make more Pikachus? Okay, now I'm being creeped out. Oh, I thought there'd be an item here. Maybe there's one around here. Yep, calcium. Yeah, I think I'll use that. With the special stats. Um, probably flash fire. Yeah, let's do that. Route 13, north to Silence Bridge. Why is it called Silence Bridge, anyway? I never quite got that. Oh, we're up to Route 12. I see another item. Oh, another calcium. I'll give this to something else. Or someone else. I'll give it to grass. Okay, I see a fisherman. What's most important in our everyday lives? Oxygen. That would be my guess. Now you got a Gyarados. Oh, right, right, it's part flying, too. I think I'll go with Zeo Sheep. Thunder Punch. Another Gyarados. Another Thunder Punch. The answer is coming up next! Like, like I said, it's Oxygen! Oh, it's Arnie. Arnie is the most important thing in everyone's life. Everybody loves Arnie. Him and his Venonet. I think electricity is the most important thing in our daily lives. If it weren't, people would have made such a fuss when the power plants went out of commission. Weirdo. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I can see that you like fishing. There's no doubt in my mind at all. So, I know I'm right. Yes, yes, just as I thought. You're a fishing fan, take this. It's a super rod. And I can give two shits because... I'm not going to be able to have it in my party. Therefore, it's of no consequence to me. Route 12, North of Lavender Town. Hmm, why is this way, anyway? Ah, this must be where Snorlax is. He thinks I will go there. There's no cheating in Pokemon! Um, I use a Game Shark to get this entire team, well, except for Grass, but... I think there's cheating! You just don't know it! Huh? How did this happen? Well, I gave it a TM. I told Grass to use Earthquake. There, that's all you need to know. Route 11. Okay, this is where the Snorlax is. I don't have to catch it, so why don't I give it a shot to see if I can? All I gotta do is just go to the radio. 
Ah, here we go. That's it. Wake up. Oh, I think I can just do it right now. The polka gear is placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up. Alright, one shot attempt to catch it. Let's see if I can do it. Ooh, level 50! Ooh, pretty high. Well, let's start with weakening its physical defense using Rock Smash. And of course, since it's a fighting move, it's super effective. Yeah, Snorlax holds leftovers, meaning it's going to gain, like, a portion of its, its HP every single turn. Unfortunate, but it's true. Ah, oh, it's got rollout, too. I better bring in Dark Lord to lower accuracy. I better do it fast, before a rollout does heavy damage. This Pokémon is going to be very difficult to catch if you don't have heavy balls. And I don't. And no, that's not a that's what she said joke. Shut up. I got perfectly weighted balls. My balls are a perfect mass. It's almost too perfect. Yeah. Moving on! Uh, once again, Snore is not going to do anything. It only works if you're asleep. And Snorlax knows rest, therefore I have to be extra careful. Oh, you're down to full health already. Uh, let's use Shadow Ball. Oh, right, right, your normal type is not going to work. Psychic, however... I guess I'll just have to make do. Who knows, I might be able to lower your special defense, too. Hopefully, when it's asleep, that gives me a good advantage to catch it. But rest only lasts a couple turns. Well, it's, not actually, it's actually not using Snore, which is nice. Let's see if I can lower that special defense. Oh, that's a good start. Lower the stats, you'll have a pretty good chance. You might increase your chance of making it faint, but... Just do your best. Oh, using rollout again. I'm not too worried. I'll just use another psychic. I can actually... Nah, nah, I don't think I'm gonna try to catch it yet. I'll give it another Psychic Blast. And then I'll try to catch it. If it doesn't use Rest, of course. I'm not too worried. Rollout's gonna miss eventually. I mean, I did flash it a few times. Okay, Ultra Ball. Come on. Don't be difficult like ho was. You're gonna be difficult like Ho was. Hmm. I better give it another shot. Not gonna touch the controller. And then. <sighs> Only one shake. Snore. Okay, let me try faint attack this time. Let's see what difference this makes. Ooh! Oh, it went use rest. Keep hitting it with more psychics. I mean, if I get its HP in the red with just one hit, pretty much, while it's resting, I would have nothing to worry about. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Look, it's using rest again! I think you can use it a maximum of 10 times, and then you just can't use it anymore. And 
there's no sense to try and paralyze it because rest actually negates all status ailments too. Well, I'll give it a shot. I might look out. I mean, it is asleep after all. Hey! How about that? Caught Snorlax. His health was orange. This Pokemon's stomach is so strong, even me eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it. <laughs> that is gross. I think we'll go to Diglett's cave now. A bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground! That was shocking! Well, this is their cave. What did you expect? Level 2?! Fine, I'll try to catch one. There. It digs underground and chews on tree roots, sticking its head out only when the sun isn't bright. Why the hell am I fighting a level 2 Diglett? I mean, in Pokemon Yellow LP, Diglett was around at least level 13 and probably a little bit higher. God, it's not even worth trying to fight them. Use a Max Repel. Ah, Max Revive. I had a feeling that rock was suspicious. Huh. Nope, nothing here. Ah, Route 2. Dig this cave. Might as well check out this house. Hi, wow! I'm glad to see you! You're the first visitor I had in a long time. I'm super happy. Let me give you a little present. That's a nugget. Whatever. It's a useless present at this point. Alright, what's this place? Are you Banga? I work as Professor Oak's aide. I had no idea that you were out here. Professor Oak Lab is nearby in Pallet Town. Okay. Hmm. Looks like Viridian City is nearby. What is it? Oh, dire hit. Where am I anyway? Okay, now I'm closer to Pure City. That's my next destination. I'm guessing Viridian's Forest is just south of here. My max potion, thanks. Not interested. Ah, Pewter City. At night, Clefairy came out to play at Mount Moon, but not every night. Well, it's got needs too. Unless well, he Brock's gym. Have you visited Pewter Gym? The leader uses rock type Pokemon. Therefore, I can own it in no time at all. Oh, the repel wore off. That's too bad. Oh, right, I can't go in there. Hmm... Well, I got a couple things to do here. First is the gym, and then is to get an item that I'll need back in Johto. I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, we're gonna take on the Pewter City Gym. See ya, everyone.